Another new record for daily reported cases, with almost 190,000 being reported today. That comes on top of alarming figures released by the Office for National Statistics, which estimates 2.3 million people in the UK had COVID-19 last week. That's up from 1.4 million the previous week, and it's the highest number since comparable figures began in autumn 2020. The bulk of these, that's more than 2 million, were in England, the equivalent of around 1 in 25 people. So how is that spike in community transmission translating into hospital admissions? In England, the number of patients has climbed to its highest level since February. This shows the increase in admissions over the last month. There were 2,370 on Wednesday. That's up 90% week on week and is the highest number since January the 29th. So the numbers in hospital are increasing, but so are discharges. So shorter stays will take the pressure off that bed occupancy. And to further put this into context, it's still way off the peak of the last wave, which saw more than 34,000 people in hospital with COVID. Another reassuring bit of data is that on critical care and the numbers of patients on ventilators. There has been a small increase over the last week, but overall, they are remaining relatively stable. But there is still a lot of uncertainty about what lies ahead you can see that we are heading into um, the um, eye of the storm in terms of um, the size of this peak. We still don't know how big the peak is going to be, how quickly it will be over. And the bit that we're obviously particularly looking at in the NHS is the number of older people who require serious hospitalisation. And there is a lot of concern about NHS staffing as those high rates of transmission impact workers. More than 24,000 staff at NHS hospital trusts were ill or self-isolating on Boxing Day. That's up 31% from the previous week and nearly doubling since the start of the month, adding to the pressures already being felt. Another cause for concern is the latest data on the effectiveness of vaccines. The UK Health Security Agency has found that AstraZeneca has no effect against Omicron from 20 weeks after the second dose, while Pfizer and Moderna's protection waned to just 10%. But with the booster, protection rises to almost over 80%. A reminder of just how key the booster is going to be to preventing a serious wave overwhelming the NHS.